let's assume things have been taken care of, guys. It's a best of three. And it wouldn't be right. Oh, we know what we got. We got unhinged. Or not unhinged. We got Houseless Gamer. Big shout out to him for putting up the, uh, the tweets for me to retweet. Saves me a lot of time. But guys, looks like we are good to go with this game. I'm assuming that if... If there's any problems, Zethian would contact me and tell Pult to get out of the game or something. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, a brand new best of three. This is the round of 32? No, this is the round of 16, I think. Let me go double check that real quick. As uh, this this is really important to determine whether this can be the end of the day. This is the round of 16! So what this means, for those who don't know, we, we tried going this over earlier. There's two qualifiers that will go to the round of eight and stop. So the round of 16 is the last series to be played today. If you make it to the round of eight, you will then take part in another qualifier down the road. Two qualifiers will merge together with their round of eights to make one final round of 16 to determine who gets to take part in DreamHack Winter. So that's information fed to me from the admin. That's not me guesstimating anymore. We know for sure that that's how this works. So ladies and gentlemen, without actual further ado, spawning in the lower right corner of the map, representing CM Storm, he's the Terran Man of the Year, Pulse. And his opponent in the upper right, spawning his Protoss, playing for ESUB Intel. A lot of people in chat know this guy. I'm really glad to get introduced to him. It's gonna be Raytor. So TVP is a matchup that I've seen Pult struggle with actually. Not not so much to the point where he'd like classify him as bad or anything. You could never classify Pult as bad. But I've seen him go through a lot of troubles. One of the most recent ones, and I, I only reference this one because it was like the most intense series, was Pult versus Puck for the SEA NA trials. And it's basically what they did is they took the best of North America, the best of Australia and uh, New Zealand and combined them in a giant tournament. And it came down to be double elimination, Puck versus Pult. And Puck almost 3 0 Pult in the initial best of uh, three guys, or best of five, or whatever the heck it was. Like, I had never seen Pult have that much trouble with Protoss before, and it kind of it, it dawned on me, like, this guy's not immune, he's not a god, and he can be hurt, he can be touched. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see if Rator is able to do that here. Uh, first blood on the way here. First blood. Okay, that came out really delayed. I don't know why. <laughs> but anyways, Probe does go down. Pult, on the other hand, has got his SCV in the base scouting. Did he see the Starport? N he does now. Well, that much is for sure. Sorry, not Starport. Rather, Stargate. Now, this opening out of Rator can be a little bit risky, depending on what he goes for. If he's opening with an Oracle, I'm just going to say it's not going to work flat out. Only because it's Pult. He's going to be that guy who's going to have your response to anything. Scouting this early was all he needed. And Oh, oh, Raytor, are you cool, dude? He cancels the Stargate and puts down Double Forge instead. Now the SV is going to come back for round two and scout this, sadly. Oh, oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Polt going to be driven out of the base with the SCV. Going to be a bit rough. We got the Supply Depot coming down here. Polt's going to be expecting most likely an Oracle, so the Marines will stay in the Mineral Line for the time being. A third, we're going to need the production to actually deal with the Oracles. Oracles shred Marines to bits. So this is this is really great. This is already throwing Polt off his game a little bit with this misinformation. This isn't like, oh my god, Polt loses. He got counter blind all in or something like that. No, that's not going to be the case. But what he did do is... Pult's expecting something completely different, and this this slight little mind game out of Raytor is actually a really big deal. For most people in most games, oh, you know, it's a misread, whatever, but you need every advantage against a player like Pult, and Raytor, even if he loses this series, by opening game one like this, he has captured my heart. <laughs> But yeah, we see the tech lab coming down, so Pult will be getting stim out. Of course, Marine's still probably wondering, like, where is that Oracle? Where are the Phoenixes? Why have I not been harassed yet? But okay, some Marines in the bunker at the front. Sentry at the ramp. Raytor, of course, just getting ready as well. With the double forges, he'll have those upgrades out really, really early. And upgrades in TVP is more important than any other upgrade, in my honest opinion. And if you can get a huge lead with armor, forget weapons for a second, but with armor, your zealots are going to plow through marines. It doesn't matter who's controlling them if the marines can never kill the zealots. Uh, scan going down for Pult. Wants to see what was... Oh no, he still doesn't know! He still is under the misassumption that it's going to be a Stargate, but of course not a big deal, because we didn't see him put down 20 turrets. He didn't overreact to this. He was just forced to play a little bit defensively instead of going for something like a 1-1 push. Now, someone in mentioned the accomplishments of these players today. If I can bring open the bracket here. 
Raytor, I believe someone said he took out Curious in order to get here. Uh, so let's see. Raytor, start of the day, taking down Happy Zerg. Then Manchi, then Die Star, then Curious to get here versus Pulse. So I may not know Raytor, guys, but he's conquered four people that I know very well and I'm very much acquainted with. And if he can make mincemeat out of all them, I cannot wait to see this series. Him and Pulse should be an epic series because, of course, Pulse didn't exactly have an easy run through to get here, but took out a lot of opponents on the way. Shine was one of them. Before that, Va Viam. And Stork, sorry, the brackets are zigzagging on his side. So lots of little players on the way, but man, I, I gotta say, really, really excited now knowing what Raytor actually came through to get to Pult today. And let's not forget, Dice Star is a top-notch Terran player as well, from Millennium, of course. But two bases right now, Raytor. Can he find his moment to shine? I guess, you know, I may not have heard of this guy before, and hopefully after today, if he qualifies for Dreamhack, the world will know about him after. But let's let's get a little ahead of ourselves. We got Charge on the way. We got 2 2 finishing up here shortly. And Pult's going to be pushing across the field with naked Marines. Plus one weapons versus two, two Zealots with Charge. If Raytor can get that advantage, Raytor is going to be in a good spot this game. Storm coming out very early as well. Forget the feedbacks, but he's going to have to hold. Uh, between a Photon Overcharge and Force Fields on the ramp, he should be okay for now. It's really important he holds out to that charge of sun. Without this charge, it's going to be very difficult for him to fight Pult. Storm not going to be done anywhere near in time, so feedback is going to be the real only option for the time being. Pult looking to push up this ramp, but again, I think a Photon Overcharge and some good Force Fields will be more than enough to hold this together. Yeah, here come those zealots. It's so hard to deal with upgraded zealots. 2-2 two is about to kick in, guys. Literally seconds away, and I still can't see it. Maybe that's an option I've accidentally disabled. I'll check that in a sec. But zealots, as we see here, despite taking the full brunt of this army, oh, only lost a couple. Really not an issue. Overcharge is popped, and while well, two armor's done, two weapons is about to finish, and Pult, this is going to not work out for him. If he engages into this army, oh, that marine just shredded to bits. Coming across the field, stimming away, knowing he's in a bit of a spot of danger. Has to be careful. Raytor may be forced to go for... Oh, no, not even a recall at this point. Medivac's going to try and boost away. Storms are not an option. Feedback's possible, but not likely. Storms do go down because, of course, the Temple are desperate to not die for nothing. But what was really dangerous there was if Pult dragged all the Zealots out here and boosted towards the main, there's no way Raytor could have caught up in time. With losing that Mothership core, no recall available, could have been very dangerous. And it looks like Raytor is just going to go for the counterattack. Pult knows this and he's going to go for the main. So many of these pylons just need to be picked off and these gateways will be made useless. Twilight Council is going to be focused down, so we'll kill the uh, possibility of upgrades. But the, the upgrades are already on the field, guys. 2-2 two, two is already done. Raytor just needs to push and he's going to do that hard. His whole army is here with a couple Zealots going in a little bit. A little bit over eagerly, I guess we could call it. Bioforce will try and maintain. There's a lot of SCVs here, but they're not going to repair this. No way, no how. As long as this choke holds, Polk should be able to take this, but the Zelts are starting to bust through. Force fields go down, so no retreat is available. And meanwhile, back at home, Polk is going to conquer most of the tech. Gateways will go down here as well. Raytor is going all or nothing, guys. He's going to go big or he's going to go home in this first game. Archon still standing strong. Last couple of SCVs are be taken out. And, of course, these Zealots are not giving a flip about the Marauders on the field. But there's no more reinforcements behind this because Pult has depowered a majority of the gateways. Three remain, only three Warpens at a time. And they're being used defensively, not offensively. And I kind of think if he had gone all or nothing, Raytor would be in a little bit better of a spot. Because these, ugh, these Archons are big, but they can be kited. We see this first Archon about to pop. We'll take out one more Marine with it on its way out. Oh, the Medivac goes down as well. Last Medivac standing, not being focused down. But the Marines, right now, Raiders in the heart of the production line. It's very difficult for Pult to get units on the field without them immediately being jumped on. But there goes the last Archon. We got the buildings in the main completely depowered. Nexus and Assimilators are the only things remaining. And Raytor, with the most vicious push in the world, may have just lost this game, albeit just barely to Pult. Last couple of units should be falling, and as they do, we may see a GG. There's no coming back from this. I mean, he's trying to get more gateways down at the front, but the mining's been ceased. The infrastructure is gone. Pult has only lost SCVs, and even so, not that many. Good game is thrown down, and Pult will take game one. Oh, deep breath. Deep breath. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to run some quick ads for happening in the next game. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with some more Pult and some more Raytor in just a moment.